everyone, this is Neuronium. Welcome back to what will be the final session of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Final session in that we will be finishing up the main story in this session. I can't say that this is gonna be the finale in particular because I don't know how long uh, it's gonna take. But then again, I am not opposed to hour long uh, finale episodes. So, last time we finished up, oh, we ended up finishing up all of the hunts in the game with the seer last and we haven't unlocked the final hunt yet but that is because i have to beat one of the super bosses in order to unlock that hunt and then the other two super bosses become available and i don't want to do that so go to our private airship we would like to board and right here you have bahamut once you leave for Bahamut, you will not be able to return. Continue. I should actually check and see if I have a separate save file because uh, I have actually done a little bit in terms of I left the console in sleep mode, so I don't know. I know I'm getting the autosave ones, but I don't want to have to redo a lot of stuff. Where's the save crystal? Just to make sure. Okay, Southgate, Ravenaster. Okay. There we go. So let's go take on the Empire, shall we? Let's board the Stroll for the last time and head off to Bahamut. Our dear Sid, slain by his son. Hmm. A common tale of late. Firing solution complete. Sighting is good. Release valves open. The nether sighted are Aim critical. Show clear. Put an end to this. They have already surrendered. Let us make of this an offering. One he might see even now. Vinal, what say you? The main battery stands ready. I beg you! Fire. they see that there can be no surrender, 
The Resistance must needs come at us with all they have. We will answer their attack head on and destroy them before the eyes of all Rabanasta. If you do this, the people will only grow to hate you the more. And should I pardon them, they will only rise up yet again. I do not believe they would. In cooperation lies our hope. You are mistaken. You are wrong, brother. And if I am? You had best find the strength you need to correct me then. Ship sighted ahead! A score or more! The resistance fleet, my lord! Hear this! Today we write the first page of a new history. Our history. Each of you must play his part. Put down this rebellion. For Arcadia, we fight! For Arcadia! Make ready and fire! We have a clean line. Prepare the second volley. Be quick! saying you are too rash your duties come after the battle is over if we allow them to destroy us here there will be no after you must assist our charge stop you must pull back stop the stall hold it i mean wait this is Lassa solidor i'm going in with her so we're fine i got the princess covered Lassa solidor so you hold him as a hostage? No, Uncle. He will fight with us against Vane. Leave it to us! Understood. Our fate is in your hands. <sighs> yes. I got the princess covered. Well, I should say that. We're relying on you for fire support. Give them something to think about. We'll pick our moment and make our move.
quite the welcome. Careful! One follows. Ah, you want to dance? <sighs> then let's dance. A new partner. It's not easy being this popular, you know. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final dungeon of the game, Sky Fortress Bahamut. Vane will be in the fortress's command tower. I saw something of the like on our way in here. Right above our heads. We need not fight all the Empire to win. If we can get to Vane, we can put an end to this war. Let's get going, then. Find Vane wherever he's perched, and knock him off. And here we are, folks. The end is in sight. Get a piece of dark matter. Bulkhead three. Now, obviously, we're going to be fighting a lot of Imperial Swordsmen. They do have more, generally the same stuff as always, so don't worry. Please! Bada boom, I missed. Boom! It's the puppers. But joke's on you. I am super powerful. I am a one-man army. Okay, let's get Protectia back on. The Resistance fights their battle well. We dare not fail them. We dare not falter. Stop worrying. We just have to clean up here, and then Ash will be the queen. It's kind of hard to believe. I can't even imagine trying to rule a whole kingdom. A queen might always run away with the help of a sky pirate looking to raise his bounty a peg. Hmm. I doubt our queen would need the help of any sky pirates. Do you really think me as strong as all that? Who said anything about strong? You'll make it. You got good friends. All right. 
Ah. 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 The Helm Rook. These things are annoying. They use magic. Laser. These robots. Magic using robots. Oh, great. Now we got a sphere rope. We got a mini Death Star. That's basically what this is. Leave me alone. Haha, <laughs> 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 you fool. Sleepy bitch disease means nothing to me. You, judge, stop. But, uh, boom. You, stop. Oh, you are following Ash. Come on, Ash. Yeah, this is getting annoying. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Right. Lift controls, engage the lift. So you have lived. I am Judge Magister. Even in disgrace, my just reward for aiding the Empire that destroyed my homeland. Gabranth, do not blame yourself anymore. You confound me, brother. You failed Landis. You failed Damaska. All you were to protect. Yet you still hold on to your honor. How? I had someone more important to defend. And defender I have. How is it that you have survived? Is it not because you defend Lord Laza? Silence! All was stripped from me. Only hatred for the brother who fled our homeland remains mine. Tell me, why do you forsake that which you must hold most precious? I do as I must, brother. Or is that not answer enough? And now for our final battle against Gabronth. So, first things first, make him not go so fast. Oh, we've silenced him. I wonder if I can get the move. Shoot our rush. Long have I walked in hatred's company. As long as I can curse your name, I shall not be defeated. I mean, you're half then dead. Then come. Wield your hatred and crush me. I welcome it. I mean, I'm ar you're already half dead, so... Never mind. Renew is a bitch. Your life... This is sad. I'm too powerful for him. The laser. Goodbye, Gabron. you the same. Let this end, Noah.
I have no right to be called by that name. Then live, and reclaim it. Okay. So. Let's head to the central shaft. And Pinello. Renew. Darn it. I bid you welcome to my sky fortress, the Bahamut. I must apologize for my delay in welcoming you aboard my ship. Permit me to ask... Who are you? An angel of vengeance? Or perchance a saint of salvation? I am simply myself. No more and no less. And I want only to be free. Such a woman is not fit to bear the burden of rule. Weep for Dalmasca, for she is lost. Observe well, Larsa. Watch and mark you. The suffering of one who must rule, yet lacks the power. No. No, brother. I will not. Though I lack your power, I will still persist. <laughs> Bold words, child. And so begins our battle against Vain Solidor. So. He punches. He kicks. He has a mean fist. And he's also super weak. And he's punching my white mage. Wow. What a dick. Your lives are forfeit and your insurgents with them. Dalmaska will again know order. For good and all, I shall bring your futile attempts at rebellion to an end. What am I to do with those who would oppose me? But show them death! That's all you can do? My god. I really am overpowered. Hold on. Before I forget. Boop, boop, boop. Allow me to show you the weight of my wealth. He has his own miscommands. Still nothing. The weight of my wealth is crushing. Lord Brother. Larsa.
God, he's hulked out. Manufactured Nethersite. Huh. Those look like Jack swords from Final Fantasy X. Defend Lord Larsa. The hound strays. Treason bears a price. One I gladly pay. It's time for Vane Novus. And he's got many of swords. So I think it's time we do something a little crazy here. Hmm. I want my shrimpy boy, but at the same time, I don't want to rely on summons. So instead, we'll start off by Dispelling Vane Novus. Yo, leave Gabranth alone. Attack Vane Novus. Watch out! His swords, they strike! Fire the laser! Evil East will know a new dynast king, and man will keep his own history. The tyranny of the gods is ended. We are their puppets no more. The freedom for which we have longed is at hand. That's nice. You're immune to attacks. Okay, Vane Novus. This is gonna hurt. That did nothing. Okay, let's keep trying to attack Vane Novus. See, the problem is we are just using bubble to shock, uh, no, scave. Vane Novus. I just realized she does not have, she has a ribbon on. Uh, she does not have her embroidered tippet. Not the embroidered tippet, the tortoise shell choker. I d I'm at the end of the game and I still don't get that right. What the heck is wrong with me? Laser! Okay, he's immune to lasers. So then we... Why don't we steal from him? What does he have to steal? 
He has nothing to steal. Gotcha. Actually did some damage. And there we go. A little laser to the face. us both. I am no Dynast King. You must find another. One who might realize your ambitions. They are fulfilled beyond your knowing. The Christ is sundered. Age of Stones complete. From the Undying Ones the world is freed. You shall not tread this path alone. Together we go. Come.
And here we are, folks. The Undying. The final boss of the game. So first things first, spell him. And fire lasers. He's just a damage sponge to start off with. But he's got quite the powerful spells. Oh, he's got Mega Flare. Oh, he's gonna chain the magics together. Now the Undying is the also the only other enemy in this game besides Zodiac that has the ability to shift. Okay, he's immune to magic. You know, the battle song that's playing right now is the battle for freedom. I love this song. Okay. Gonna take Ash out. We're gonna bring in Fran. Oh shoot, that hurt. Okay, he's no longer immune to magic. Okay, he's immune to physical damage. means it's back to this and back to sh shades of black he's glowing oh the giga flare sword okay it's shades of black he's almost done I'm not gonna lie, this thing kind of creeps me out with what Vayne turned into with the Undying. <laughs> I love that I blocked that. Okay, you're immune to magic. And you're immune to that. <laughs> know what you're not immune to. And we'll take care of that, so... It's time? Dang it. All my gambits are gonna act against me! Stop that. Now I just gotta wait to be able to do that because he's gonna keep using piercing the sable guy. Uh oh, Terra Flare. Pinello! You killed my white mage! How dare. But you're no longer immune, which means it's time we do this the way I wanna do it! But I wanna get Pinello out of the party and make it the three main characters of the game for this finale. Both here! Quickening! Fires of War! I 
must endure. I never miss. I must be strong. Show you how it's done. I had another flame purge, but oh well. Time for some water to put out this fire. <laughs> and there we go. The laser by Ash killed him. Fly? No fuel goes to the Glossaire engines. Damn. Vaughn, you're in charge. I'm checking the engine room. Right. Fran, with me. <sighs> Look! Bahamut's Glossaire rings are stopping! Vaughn, as soon as the Strahl's rings move, you take off. Understood? You can fly her, Vaughn. Just do it like I told you. Don't worry. Pinello, watch for interference from Bahamut's Skyster. The Strahl's a fickle girl. You keep her working for us. I'll see what I can do. Uh. Bosh, look after Lasso, will you? Uh. If House Solidor should crumble, the Empire would fail, and civil war would take us all. I understand. The Lord Lhasa is our last hope. Vaughn, the power's back. We 
can go. Right. Let's go. Grab onto something. Sir, it's the stroll. She's left Bahamut. She's moving away. The stroll. They made it. At last. The Bahamut has fallen. The final test is upon us. The judges shall rule us no more. Main cannon on the Alexander. This is Judge Magister Gabon. All forces cease fire. I repeat, all units of the Arcadian Army, hold your fire. The battle is over. As of this moment, we have signed a ceasefire with the Shelley of Benargan del Masca, the Royal Majesty. Attention, this is Larsa Farinus Solidor. My brother Vane has died with honor in battle. The Imperial fleet is now under my command. Sir, your orders, sir. This is Ashelia Delmasca. The Lady Ash, thank the God you live. I confirm what Judge Magister Gabranth and Larsa Solidor have said here. Please stand down your attack. The war is over. Ivalice looks to the horizon. A new day has dawned. We are free. Message from the Alexander. Take it, sir. This is Judge Sarkabas, captain of the Alexander, flagship of the 12th Damascan fleet of the Arcadian Army. I address all ships in Ravanaster's airspace. The Bahamut must not be allowed to fall on the city of Ravanaster. We are preparing to ram her. Do not interfere. Madness. Should she fall, the paling will not hold, and all Ravanaster will be obliterated. All ships. Concentrate your fire on the Alexander's remains once Bahamut is clear of the city. Hasty, aren't they? I think it's a little early to be throwing away our lives just yet. Balthier? Wait! Balthier, where are you? <sighs> oh, Vaughn! Sounds like you made it out okay. The Stral's a fine airship, eh? What does he think he's doing? Balthier! Marquis, stop that fool judge on the Alexander for me, would you? Just getting somewhere with these gloss air rings. Almost done. Don't want him ramming me before I fix them, do we? Balthier, do you understand exactly what it is you're doing? Princess, no need to worry. I hope you haven't forgotten my role in this little story. I'm the leading man. You know what they say about the leading man? He never dies. Let's fly! Fran, power to the glossary rings. Fran? Do I have to do everything around here? Listen to me, Balthier. Get out of Bahamut immediately. Please, Balthier, you mustn't die! Please, Balthier, come back. Yeah. I'd say yeah. you're in more of a supporting role. Fran, please. Vaughn! The Stroll's in your hands. You'd better take care of her, you hear? There's one scratch on her when I get back. Roger that. We'll be waiting for you. Balthier!
And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, created and developed by Square Enix. My thoughts on Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. First, talking about Final Fantasy XII, then we will talk about Zodiac Age. Final Fantasy XII, when it first came out, ended up becoming my favorite Final Fantasy game. The license board system, while a little bit off-putting to a lot of people, I still enjoyed when doing that, even though in vanilla Final Fantasy XII, there were a lot of problems. When I played the international version on the PlayStation 2 later on in life, I would end up having more of an appreciation for the game. So when Zodiac Age was announced, I was ecstatic beyond belief. Final Fantasy XII still, even to this day, remains my favorite Final Fantasy game out of all the main numbered series. Sure, the story basically boils down to the old trilogy of Star Wars, but I never see that as a bad thing. Like, I like Star Wars, I like the old trilogy, so, you know, this kind of makes sense to me to combine the two together. Final Fantasy XII always brings me a lot of joy to play, and the changes that the Zodiac Age brought in with it are definitely a welcome improvement, and I will play no other version of Final Fantasy XII from now on besides Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. Zodiac Age's addition of dual license boarding from the international version, the ability to change the license boards at any time, the ability to quick save between a lot of things, is very great, to say the least. And without these changes, I feel like the game would have been panned a whole lot more should it have just been a straight port of the Final Fantasy XII International version. Overall, I loved all the characters in the game. I loved all the action, the drama. I loved the gameplay. This is just the Final Fantasy game that I just love. And I will always love playing this game. And it's been so long since I managed to actually beat this game. Overall, for the project, when going into that, I handled it better near the end than I did at the beginning. I will not lie on that front. Especially in the fact that with Final Fantasy XII, when I first started with the bios, it they weren't that appealing looking. So thank you to Savarts for creating a bio template for me to be able to make things seem a lot more seamless in their interconnectedness. Learning a lot about this game in regards to Final Fantasy XII for the uh, different enemy drops and everything was always fascinating to do. And it's something I really enjoy doing for JRPGs or bios like that. I won't always do them, but hey, I know that they were a hit for Final Fantasy XII. But where does this leave us for the project? Because while we finish the main story, there are still some other things we have to do. Yep, we still have to deal with the hidden bosses, the mini games, and I have one bonus episode in particular that will be going up as the last bonus episode once we deal with all that. Remember, we're going to be doing live streams for the Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age Super Bosses, as well as getting the remaining things that we need from the chests that I had missed for different abilities to make those hidden bosses uh, a little bit easier. But what I'll do is I will tell you this. I have a special edition of Final Fantasy XII that has some pretty interesting uh, things on it. And we will be going over that in one of the bonus parts. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Neuronium, and I thank you all for watching this very long playthrough of Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. See you all next time.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more Final Fantasy content, check the link on the top, which will take you to Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. If you want to see other live streams, check the bottom link below to see other live streams down on the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.